Uh, get your big Dom accent ready, Dibs. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Uh, this was just made public. This was sent out to all NFL teams today by the league office. You talking about a memo? Some <laughs> kind of a memo? Well, a memorandum? Well, kind of a piece of paper or something? It was a missive? Yeah. It's an email? That's exactly what it is. It's a fax? It is a document. It's a doc. It's a Word doc. Like a Google doc? <laughs> no, Word like a doc. spreadsheet? Subject, conduct of club personnel on game day. Hey, Dom, talking to you. Feels personal, this personnel. The playing rules of the National Football League and our game operations policy clearly prohibit non-player personnel from making physical contact with, taunting, or directing abusive or insulting language toward opposing players, game officials, or others involved in a game. If an altercation occurs, club pers personnel are to allow the coaches and officials to manage the situation with the officials assessing penalties with assistance from the league office as needed under no circumstances. Are club personnel to engage with or make physical contact with another club's players or other personnel. This has already been made clear on numerous occasions, including earlier this year, fall league meeting, football ops memos, dated 7 one 8 one I missed those. I was busy. Please ensure that all members of your game day staff understand that their role does not extend to being involved with game day altercations and that they must refrain from such involvement, if you or a member of your staff has any questions. Who mentioned rolls? Spring rolls? Are we talking sweet rolls? Please contact rolls. a member of the football operations department. Hey, Dom, we talking to you. It feels like targeting to me. I'm being targeted. Stand down. I actually, I'll stand up. <laughs> I'll stand closer to the, to, the, to the field. Anybody tries to commit a penalty against my guy, I'm going to be there. In I'm going to poke him. In addition to ejection, Dom, punishment may include fines and or suspension without pay. That's not happening. <laughs> you going to try to find me? You going to find me? You going to suspend me? Who's going to do that? Maybe. Goodell? Hey, Raj, come on down here. I got a little something for you. NFL would like to remind Big Dom, you were wrong. When it comes to this situation. Wrong, yet effective. No S doubt. Score that one for Big Dom. Yeah. Because he got escorted out and he instantly became a cult hero. And Drake Greenlaw was no longer able to run around and tackle Philadelphia Eagles players. So in terms of the net net of that moment, as much as it was a disgusting visual in terms of security guy putting hands on a 49er player, score that one for Big Dom because he got one of your better defensive players removed from the ball game. No doubt. I don't think he thought about it that way like it was I win. premeditated. Um, but Just I think, not checkers. Well, I think that this memo is speaking to exactly what you're speaking about there, Dom. Totally, I, I, totally. I, I think this memo is like, don't anybody get any ideas. As if like, oh, this worked. Um, and I love the way Peter King described what Dre did. Like we've really overstated this contact. That he punched him. <laughs> and what did Peter say? He said, it looked like he was putting makeup on him. Right. As he was like, I wish I was whoosh. Totally. Just a little, whoo. He little. didn't even get four fingers on him. No. It was like a two or three finger touch. Oh, but, Grant, Grant, you got it? Here, let's hear Peter King. I did not think that Dre Greenlaw should have been thrown out of the game. You know, I watched that replay six times. And, you know, let's be honest. I, I read somewhere that he threw a light punch at him. Are you kidding me? He basically looked like he was applying shaving cream to Dom's face. <laughs> he barely, he barely touched him. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be six years old here, but who started this? The Eagle security guy put his hands on an active player who was the leading tackler in this game. You know, if you put your hands on a player in the middle of a football game, I'm just saying the guy isn't going to say, 
sir, would you mind to put taking your hands off me right now? <laughs> I, I mean, what what is he supposed to say? And that's why, I mean, McCaffrey was right. Kyle was, Shanahan was right, too. What is a guy who's not a player or a coach doing in the middle of a confrontation between the players? And look, Dom didn't do this to get Dre Greenlaw thrown out of the game. I know this guy a little, okay? He's not a bad guy. He's an employee of the Philadelphia Eagles who's trying to defuse a situation that blew up in his face. All right, there. I think that's a pretty good, a pretty good breakdown. Yeah, of not just the situation, but how the league looks at it. Right, and in the moment, though, the league has no choice but to eject the player for sure. putting hands on uh, on the security personnel by the letter of the law. But this situation, I think, is is a broader issue in terms of the number of people we have on these sidelines, and you know, everything is so close in football to where. You see your guy get body slammed, you're going to react in a high-emotion game like that. Yeah, I wonder, with what you just said there, I wonder if the league, like, as it's all happening so fast, I'm with you, Dre gets ejected. But if you could go back and do it after having a few days to really look at the video and yes. understand everything about it, I wonder if they'd still eject Dre Greenlaw, knowing that the personnel put his hands on Dre first. Exactly. I wonder. I and wonder what Dre they do. didn't like the offense. And Peter mentioned putting shaving cream on him. That's a great description <laughs> because I actually shaved this morning, and you kind of do the dab, 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 dab. You know, shave the neck, and uh, it's just a couple fingers, and it's just a tat, 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 and that's basically what it was. Yeah, a little dab will do you. Right. And so, by the letter of the law, you, you know, Dre Greenlaw can't do what he did. I get that, and you know I'm a big letter of the law guy when it comes to officiating, but in that moment, can we look at it and say it was not a punch? If Dre goes oh, open-hand slap or punch or something truly violent. Oh, he have been suspended. Yes, and of course. You know, we're all for it, but you know, he got his, somebody put his hands on him first, and that's where the Draymond Green thing, looking back, I get it. He gets five games because, yes, Gobert put hands on Clay, but then Dre... Got a legitimate chokehold and hmm. took him on a on a long walk. Shout out Jill Scott. And so because of that, you know it was a it was an acceleration of the moment. Acceleration sensation is what say. it was. Come on, Sorry. don't don't cower out of it. I don't have my wallet. I don't have my wallet today. Oh 